Look at the mats, the mats is looking clean, disinfected. No more cold virus, norovirus, staff, any of that stuff. Carpet is beautiful. Employees are hard at work. What's up, boss man? It's your boy DJ the Boss. Back again with another video. Out here at the location. Uh, employees back there doing an incredible job today uh, I really didn't even come to do checks I knew they would do an incredible job but there was a mishap with like finding keys and everything like that uh, earlier stuff so somehow there was a, a main key that got lost so locks had to be changed I had to dish out new keys to my employees uh, whatever headache real quick video today for y'all uh, though uh, real quick take a second Subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel. It's a real good channel. I'm not trying to sell you guys anything. Just trying to build a community where I can learn from you guys. You guys can learn from me. Uh, I'm the owner of a commercial cleaning company here uh, near Seattle, Washington. Uh, but the business principles that I talk about in my videos apply to a lot of different industries. Landscaping, pressure washing, window cleaning, anything in the cleaning, home service or commercial service business. Uh, we all pretty much do the exact same thing, and that's to try to provide value to our clients that we uh, physically service. Uh, but anyway, also hit that like button. Really helps out us YouTubers, helps out the YouTube algorithm, and helps more people find us and what have you. So do your boy a favor, take a second and hit that like button for, uh, you know, for all the effort that we put into these videos. I don't make any money off of these videos. I literally just do it for the value that it brings to you guys. Uh, and then the return value that sometimes it brings to me, which is awesome. If you guys got any video suggestions, uh, make sure you leave them in the comments and I will be sure to address every last one of them to the best of my ability. Uh, but yeah, man, stay tuned. We got a real cool video for the day. Uh, especially those of you who I know are out there that deal with procrastination. I, I, I know, but we'll, we'll talk about it. Stay tuned. Embrace everything I used to Things ain't bad as they used to Try and start a revolution And I don't know what God has planned for my future But I just want it all I just want it all I just want it all What's up, boss fam? Uh, first thing we're gonna do is get up out of this location Head back to the office So I'll see y'all over there Alright, we're back at the office, man As you guys can see same stuff as usual. Only difference is, uh, oh, I put the LED on the back of the TV. I think that looks dope. I love it, especially for the videos. I, mean, I hope you guys like it. But what I want to talk to you today, uh, uh, what I want to talk to you guys about today is uh, procrastination. So I got a friend in the area who is, as um, she's very very passionate about about starting this starting this business uh, she owns a uh, a residential cleaning uh, you know maid service a little bit further north than where i am uh, right now um, but you know she she's been asking me for advice and uh you know getting knowledge from me and asking me what to do and how to go about certain things and you know i, I never have a problem giving advice you know i have this entire platform that's just built on me Given all, all the knowledge that I get as I get it, and, and you know, and just giving it away, so that's it's what I love to do. Uh, and so there's 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 nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with asking for advice, receiving coaching, paying for coaching, or anything like that. But at, at the end of the day, there has to be a switch, and so there has to be a moment where you decide that you are actually going to do that you are going to now apply all of the things that have been taught to you. Otherwise, nothing's gonna change. So, uh, and so she has started her business. I mean, she, she got her LLC, she got her uh, you know, EIN number and everything like that. She's you know fully incorporated. She's got her insurance, she's bonded, but um, you know, she's, she's running around doing all these things and even running around to networking events and things like that, which networking events are cool. But I started to notice that she was not doing any activity that would lead to her getting a new client. So I asked her, I was like, hey, I noticed that you aren't doing any, uh, you know, any prospecting. Like, what, what's, 
what's going on? Why are all the activities that you're telling me that you're doing, uh, none of them involve anything to do with gaining new business? So what's what's going on with that? And so uh, I'm not going to put all of her information out on blast, but it, it just boils down to, you know, it was fear that, you know, uh, you know, fear. She felt like she had to be everything had to be perfect and, and you had to have everything in place before she got started or she actually went to go and, and find business. And a lot of people have that, have that same issue where you feel like everything has to be perfect. You have to have your logo. You got to have, you know, all your marketing in place. You got to have shirts. You got to have, you know, all this equipment and things like that. And uh, I don't know how many times I, I have to say this. I started this homeless, which means I had none of that. I didn't even have equipment when I got my first account. I bought my equipment with the money that I charged them. And I bought my licensing with the money that I charged my first clients. Everything that I have in my company, everything that sits in this office and this office itself was created by the revenue that the business made. And so that's what you want to be doing. You want to be in business. You're not in business until... People are writing you checks until people are handing you cash, giving you money for the service that you provide. All that extra stuff, it's all its all show, it's glitz and gam, and yeah, some of it makes it easier to get business, but if you're not getting business yet, you are not in business. And if you want to be in business, then you should make that your goal. Make that your goal is to start chasing clients and start doing what you need to do to get your phone ringing, to start setting appointments to do walkthroughs and, and you know, whatever your sales process looks like, you need to start engaging in that on a daily basis uh, and start growing your business because you're not going to grow uh, just by, you know, just by making your business pretty. And this this particular person hadn't even you know started her website yet or, you know, or Facebook or anything like that. So, I mean, in the bare minimum, if you're not going to be out, you know, facing customers and selling, then you at least need to be uh, marketing online or, you know, and in. I mean, you should be marketing online anyway, but at, in the minimum, you should be, you know, doing go, you know Google AdWords or you know Facebook marketing and, and things like that or whatever works for your particular industry. If you're not in, in the cleaning Facebook, uh, for us, it's Google, LinkedIn, and things like that. Uh, but yeah, you should at least be doing that type of stuff. Uh, that, I, mean, I can't stress that enough. But yeah, some type of uh, sales base, some type of. Um, you know, prospecting or something to get new business in your company for your company uh, should be done every single day. Uh, yeah. So if you are waiting for your logo to be perfect, or if you're uh, waiting for some some piece of marketing material, uh, or waiting for someone to do your website for you, or you're waiting for to get uniforms, I, I'm gonna tell you right now, you're 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 really just scared. You're you're scared, and you need to figure out why you're scared and fix that fear because that's the underlying issue. Uh, it's not your. It's not gonna be your logo. It's not gonna be your, you know, whatever that you're deciding not to get started. It's not. That's not gonna be the re the reason you fail. The reason you fail is gonna be because you're, you're not getting started, and you can't be timid when you when you come when you come at this, especially if you you want any type of success. Or any type of success to happen quickly, uh, you got to come into this thing with confidence, and uh, you know, and you gotta, you gotta be here. You gotta exist. You gotta be. You gotta be in business. You're not in business if you're not actually you're know, going out and trying to obtain new clients and, and get new business. You gotta have money. You gotta get money going coming in, and that's the main thing. That's what we're doing this for, right? That's what we're in business for to make a profit. Uh, and so, the more, the longer you're waiting. The, you know, the longer you're not making a profit or not making any money at all, because a lot of you are just trying to buy your way in and you're just paying for all these things, thinking that that's going to, you know, be the end all be all to, to your business. And you're going to be able to just kind of pay for marketing and pay for all these things. And customers are just going to come rushing to you and it's, it's not going to happen. You have to get good at it. And it's, it's a skill that you have to build and you, you have to build it. So get started, get out there, go sell someone. Go call somebody, go knock on somebody's doors. If you have a flyer already, go pass out a flyer. If you don't have a flyer, don't wait until you have a flyer to go knock on someone's door. You know, knocking on doors, phone calls are free. 
You can do that all day, every day. Talking to people is free. Yes, do some networking events, but, but don't wait for a networking event before you start telling people about your business and telling people that you're in business. Make sure you're, you're online on all the necessary platforms that you need to be on for your particular business or your particular industry. Uh, I can get into a deeper video on that. If someone wants me to, just let me know uh, in the comments. But, uh, but yeah, that's my video, man. It just for, kind of frustrated me. And I know some of y'all, some people struggle with that, especially this dear friend of mine. So I wanted to make this video for her and, uh, for the rest of you guys. Um, but yeah, that's, that's mainly it, man. I know it's a struggle. It's, it's a hard, it's a hard thing to, to deal with that, that fear. Um, but we, we gotta shake it. We, we gotta get rid of it. You know what I mean? A lot of people are afraid to start because they're afraid of, of messing something up or ruining some chance. Uh, and, that 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 fear is is irrational. I mean, you're you're gonna mess something up, and you're gonna mess up plenty of the first things that you try to do, especially in business. Uh, I mean, all of the first jobs that I had, every different every different type of job or different job style that we started, I messed up. The very first post post construction uh, gig that we landed, we screwed up terribly. Did a horrible job. Got nothing but complaints about it. Had to go back three or four times. Lost a ton of money on it, but we learned everything that we possibly could on that job, and and when we went into the next one, it was not as bad. I mean, we still messed up some, but it wasn't as bad. And now we're pretty efficient at the post construction cleaning type stuff. So, uh, same thing with our janitorial. We started off not so not so good, but we got better and better and better. You know, first we were getting complaints, but you you mess it up, and then you you keep going. But you have to get started in order to figure out where for you, because it's going to be different for everybody, but where your troubles are, where your hiccups are, you have to go and figure what that is for you. And you have to get out there and mess it up. You know, in, in music, let's say in music, a lot of people would agree that music is a universal language to life. Uh, so even in music, if you play the wrong note, it's not necessarily a bad thing. What matters is the next note you play that makes the previous note bad or not. Isn't that crazy? It's about what you do next. It's always about what you do next. Even in the universal language of music, you can play a wrong note, but it's about the very next note you play that really, really matters. So keep that with you guys, man. I love you guys. Keep that boss mentality. Peace.